somebody say Jesus. Jesus. God be the Lord. It is my task this afternoon to introduce our guest speaker. And before I do that, I would like to say to Pastor Bank and Sister Angela Bank, it's just an honor and a pleasure to be in your presence. Amen. At this particular time. Amen. And to God uh, bless you in all your endeavors and all that you do. It's just an honor to be here this afternoon with you in the celebration. God bless you. And to our uh, pulpit uh, guests and to the Peasant Green Baptist family. It's just an honor to be here to introduce the speaker this afternoon. Amen. And I said introduce because the program says introduce. Uh, but I think that if you, as a resident in the state of Nebraska, not in just the city of Omaha, if you're in the state of Nebraska, uh, our speaker this afternoon needs no introduction. All right. All right. Uh, because uh, he came into the city uh, with a blazing heart Amen. and the same characteristic, that same high energy that he came into the city with, he still have that energy right Amen. today. Amen. You know, every Sunday morning, somebody asked me, he said, boy, does he preach like that all the time? Every Sunday morning at Pilgrim Baptist Church, Amen. he preached. Amen. He preached. Yes, he preached. Right. Amen. And I asked him sometimes, I said, Pastor, can you get it all out? <laughs> Our speaker this afternoon, he hails from the great city of Alabama. Amen. And there's one thing that I heard about Alabama preachers is that they can preach. And this pastor exemplifies that. He not only is a preacher, he is a preacher preacher. He loves preachers. Not only that, he loves people. And that's what makes him who he is, and that is that he is a, and I'm going to use this word, and I don't use this word loosely, he is a great spiritual leader. That's who he is. You know? And when I look in the biblical characters, I think about Moses. You know, because that's who he remind me of is that a, a leader, you know, a leader that depends on God to lead his people. When I said Moses, that's what I mean, is that he is a leader of, uh, of people. He leads people, but he leads them through God. He don't care no himself to be. He leads them to God. Amen. You have your bio in front of you, and I'm not going to uh, go through you know, those things in his bio, uh, because I know that, and knowing him and the years that I have, and those things don't make a whole lot of difference to him. You know, One of the things that I do know that he is a child of God. He was called to the ministry and he was sent by God to Omaha, Nebraska. Now, don't mess that up. He was called by God to the ministry, but he was also sent by God to minister in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, he is the uh, wife or the husband of, of uh, Angela. <laughs> Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm nervous. But he is the husband. Jesus. Jesus. He is the husband. He is the husband. Angela. Angela. 
Angel Perkins, and three lovely kids. And, and the next voice after our next election, the next voice that you would hear is that of the pastor of the Pilgrim Baptist Church, the Reverend Dr. Cedric L. Perkins. And the one thing that I do want to say before I do have my seat, and that is, is that you will see, as you look in your Bible, it says, time, in time, of relaxation. The one thing that I don't see down here, that I know that he does a lot of, and that is restaurant hobby. He does a lot of restaurant hobby. After our next selection by the Bureau of the next board that you do is that of uh, uh, Reverend Dr. Cedric L. Perkins. Thank <laughs> you. 